good feeling to be around your peers, trade unionists, people that care about people, people who fight for social justice. And that is truly something hard to do, especially within the last eight years. Hopefully it's going to get a lot better than I know it is. And we're here tonight to honor some brothers and sisters who implemented those very time-tested and honored principles of solidarity. Banded together, recognized the social injustice, and said, damn it, it's going to stop right here. Yeah. And that's exactly what they did. We have um, seldom seen in our times this principle applied with a victory. Uh, we've been under the gun as trade unionists and working men and women in this country for so long. We've been beaten back and beaten down, but finally we are beating back. And it is truly an honor to come here tonight, see old soldiers for social justice like my good friend here, Dave Moore, who is... Uh, Dave Moore. Someone that uh, has mentored me throughout my my whole life in the movements for social justice. Uh, me and Dave have been blessed to have personal time with Dave to sit down and hear the history firsthand on how we got to where we were today as working men and women in this country. If you get the time to do that, please take that please take that opportunity. It is truly a blessing to have people like Dave around. Mike Curran, where's Mike Curran? I can't, I can't say enough. You see, um, the way I was brought up in a union home, our celebrities, our heroes were not football players, baseball players. They were men and women who sacrificed their personal wealth and self for the betterment of others. And that's the same thing I've taught my children. These are, are my celebrities. These are my soldiers of faith, and I love them. Every chance I get, I try to honor them, so please indulge me tonight. Uh, I'm here to do an introduction, and I'm here filling in for General Baker, who, believe me, if you've ever heard General Baker speak, um, uh, those of you who didn't, you really missed a treat tonight. And I was really also further honored that General was happy to hear that I was taking his place. I've looked up to him all of my career as well, and I wish him guys speed in, in, a, in a speedy recovery of health. So tonight, we have with us the leadership of the Republic Workers. We have with us Bob Kingsley, National Director of Organization for United Electrical Workers. He's an 18-year elected national officer. Where's Bob? Bob, come on up.
Armando and I are here tonight to talk about what was a very good day for the working class in the city of Chicago. Yes, sir. We're also going to premiere for you here in Detroit a video depicting the struggle that took place. Uh, once we've done that, Armando's got a few words to say, and then we're both going to hope to engage in some dialogue with you about what the experience was like and maybe what we can take from it. But before we do, brothers and sisters, let me bring you greetings from a hard-fighting American Union, UE, and from thousands of UE members who live and work and struggle for justice just like you do. Detroit area. Fighting for the 